Ja, hi, willkommen. Mein Name ist der Nero B. Und ich muss euch zurück zu Let's Play Tales of Crisis F. In der letzten Folge haben wir die kleine Königin fertig gemacht. Oder sie uns. Irgendeins von beiden. Wir ähm, haben... Also Pascal hat hier irgendetwas aus dem Speicher von so einem... Boah, wie ist denn die Viecher nochmal? Diese kleinen. Hier so einer. Androiden, was weiß ich. Mitgenommen. Und die sollen wir mal... Ja, sollten wir mal angucken und zu gucken, was da passiert. Ja, Ach ja ich sollte ja noch nach Barona für mich gerade auf, ne? Aber nee, lass mal. Gucken wir uns erstmal die Daten an, fördern die Story. Ich würde sagen, wir fordern die Story jetzt erstmal so lange, bis wir vom Ende sind und dann machen wir alles nebensächliche, ne? Das klingt nach einem Plan. Das klingt nach einem sehr guten Plan. Ich weiß jetzt nicht, ob ich, hey, habe ich überhaupt, ich habe irgendwas hergestellt. Äh, habe ich? Äh, nein, ich habe keine neuen hiervon. Wer will Sherry sein? Okay. Wir haben eine Bernstein-Figurine anscheinend. So viel will Sherry sein. Also habe ich doch anscheinend seit dem letzten Mal ein bisschen trainiert. Und Pascal will Sherry sein, weil alles andere wäre irgendwie falsch. So. Dann Sophie. Was hast du gerade? Autokapierholung. Und ja. Lass mal so erstmal. Also wie gesagt, meine Mixer-Sachen sind irgendwie so komisch angelegt, deswegen glaube ich, dass ich ein bisschen trainiert habe, aber ich bin mir nicht sicher, es ist schon ein bisschen her. Und ich finde jetzt den Raum nicht, wo wir die Daten angucken sollen. Ah. Ich weiß auf jeden Fall, dass hier noch ein paar Cutscenes kommen, deswegen wird das jetzt ein bisschen nervig. Finde ich. Werde gleich sehen, warum. Okay, wo komme ich hier hin? In die Lounge. Äh, nein. Ich denke mal, wir müssen dahin, wo Emerald gepennt hat. Für ein paar Jahre. Paar tausend hier ne? ich weiß schon wieder nicht wo ich hin muss ich meine aber von irgendwo bekommen wir noch einen titel wenn wir irgendjemanden ansprechen du hier irgendwo können wir titel kaufen wenn ich mich irre ich bin mir nur nicht sicher wo schon lange das ist auch falsch Na, mal sehen was mit dir äh. Dann ja, hier muss es jetzt sein. Sonst habe ich keine Ahnung, wo ich hin muss. Aber Glas gehen. Geht länger, das ist gut. So. Fortschritt. The city appears safe for now. But we'll be hard pressed if any more of those monsters show up. Yes, and it's only a matter of time until they do. I'm concerned. If left unchecked, these creatures could wipe out all of Affinia too. Okay, that should do it. Okay. Was haben wir mitgenommen? All members of the second research team have perished. They brought these samples back with their lives. We cannot let them go to waste. I agree. Very well. Proceed with the research. The core's current structure is similar to that of an immune system. So it's as if Fodra is trying to rid itself of a virus. And in this scenario, the virus is... Yes, I'm afraid so. The Little Queen's target is none other than... humanity itself. Why? Why has Fodra forsaken us? How could this have happened? It's only a matter of time until the little queen arrives. Get out now, while you still can. No, sir. We are going to stay with you until the end. Then I assure you, you won't be here much longer. That's a bar. Sir, I'm afraid we have no choice but to shut down Fodra's core. But that will set the entire planet on a path to ruin. 
Sir, if we don't, there won't be any humans left on the planet. However... Sir, there's still hope. We still have Athenia. We can survive this. Very well. Shut down the core. We are here. We have heard your decision. humanity. That is the reason for which we exist. Hey, das Umfeld, er war kein echter Mensch. Hm? Ma. Was that all real? As far as I can tell, that all happened about a thousand years ago. Why did Fodra turn on them? Good question, but one that can wait. We have more pressing concerns right now. Right. We need to find a way to stop the Little Queens. Is that even possible? Well, I mean, we could try shutting down the core or whatever. That's what those scientists said in the video. But did they succeed? It seems that they were killed before they could act. Well, Fodra's core was shut down for almost a thousand years. They must have found a way. Hmm. Well, I kind of sort of have an idea. But it involves Lambda. Interesting. If we have Lambda absorb the core's Elith. But what would happen to Asbel? What soll schon passieren? I would be unharmed, but I can't speak for you. If I absorb the core's elif, it will pass through both your mind and your body. The strain would be too much for a fragile human to withstand. If anything were to go wrong, your body and mind would be completely obliterated. Why didn't that happen to Richard? Richard's body and his mind were almost completely under my control. So a normal human can't handle the Elif, but you can. Is that right? What are you planning? Lambda, I need a favor. You are not hearing me, human. This procedure will utterly destroy you. No, it won't. It's too dangerous to rely on Lambda. And even if we did, Asbel could be torn apart in the process. It's okay. I can do this. Anscheinend wusste Richard davon. You mustn't. Don't be a fool. Think about what you're saying. I have. I'm going to let Lambda take over temporarily. What? You're going to voluntarily let Lambda take control? That's madness. It's not madness. Nein, das ist Sparta. Don't do this. Lambda will absorb you, just as he did to me. If that happens, you won't be Asbel anymore. Guys, I'm just lending it to him. It's not permanent. And after I give up control, Lambda can absorb the Elith and seal it inside himself. Because Elith is only dangerous during the period where it's flowing. So Asbel's going to offer himself to Lambda for just that little bit of time. That would minimize the strain for sure, but... Won't absorbing all that Elith allow Lambda to become active again? That's a good point. Do you really believe Lambda will just hand your body back once he's done? Yes, I do. Lambda went out of his way to save us. We all saw it. If he was willing to do that, I'm willing to put my trust in him. Besides, 
We don't really have a choice. We have to shut down Fodra's core. There's no doubt that Eleth from the core is responsible for the new monsters around here. And I bet it's responsible for the monsters on Aphinia, too. Asbel is correct. One way or another, we have to shut it down. So that's why Lambda and I have to try. What if it doesn't work? What if it fails and you're not you anymore? I'll be fine. How can you be so sure? I told you I wanted to give Lambda a chance. I have to do this, Sharia, for a lot of reasons. So please, let me try. <laughs> Look, this may not be a good plan, but it's all we've got. Are you with me? All right. I'll leave this one to you. Besides, it's not like we could talk him out of it. No, probably not. He's been living with Lambda for like a year now, right? I honestly think he'll be fine. What about you, Richard? No, yeah. Are you absolutely sure about this? I am. All right. The decision is made. Ja. Wir rest tonight and head out first thing in the morning. Sind oder nicht? Okay. <lacht> das funkelnde Schwert von Esper. <lacht> Maha. You need to find a way to set their minds at ease. Once we board the shuttle, we can't afford any last-minute regrets. Understand? Asbel, Sophie, willst du das auch ausreden? Turned into Lambda, I'd have to resume my mission. That's not gonna happen. He's different from before. I know it's hard, but you just have to trust him. Trust Lambda. Naja. Ach, er hat nur versucht, die Welt zu zerstören. Was soll ich so schlimm? Hast du was Zeit? Na, wie geht's? Gut, weitermachen. Du bist cool. Den ganzen Abend ausruhen. Nein. 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 Okay. Na ja, gut. Was du? Oh nein, ich hier schon wieder. You're more foolish than I thought, if you're willing to entrust me with your body. Once I take over, that which you call Asbel will cease to exist. Do you think you can return whole from such an ordeal? Yes, because I believe in you. On what basis? You don't need a basis to believe in someone. But if I had to give reasons, it's because you went out of your way to protect us. Also, you could have taken me over a dozen times by now, right? But... You haven't. That's why. How foolish. Besides, I'm only lending you my body. And things that are borrowed must always be returned. Pa, do not lecture me like some mewling human child. It's got nothing to do with being human. It's about doing the right thing. 
And besides, you and I are sharing this body, remember? We need to watch each other's backs in order to keep things running smoothly. The word fool fits no one better than the likes of you. A man who trusts anyone based on nothing more than his own flawed reason. You humans continue to amaze. But I also see now that foolishness is a deeper trait than I once believed. Thanks, Lambda. I think. I accept your proposal. I will borrow your body and absorb the core's elif. But be warned, notable strain will still remain on your body afterwards. You had best prepare yourself. Keine Sorge, mein Body is ready. Tut mir leid, muss einfach kommen. Thanks for all the help, Lambda. Alles klar. Hey Sophie, can't sleep? I was just going to visit the others. Wanna come? Okay. All right then. Let's go. Well, 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 well. Die Gruppe besteht nun noch aus Sophie. Okay. Alles klar. Kann ich speichern? Weil ich möchte doch lieber, bevor ich hier irgendwie weitermache, speichern. Das heißt, ich muss erstmal hier allen ausweichen. Ja, und dann rede ich erstmal mit allen. Also mit Hubert erstmal. Na? So Lambda isn't enough? Now you have to take in the entire core as well? You know, it's the rest of us who suffer the most for your damn hero complex. I'm sorry, Hubert. I don't want you to worry. Oh, I'm not worried. I'll be fine. But if something happens, I don't think Sophie will ever recover. Isn't that right, Sophie? You're not just the Lord of Lant now, Asbel. You're also Sophie's father. So I hope you're strong enough to stay alive and face your new responsibilities. Hear me well, Lambda. If you refuse to release my brother, I will not be held responsible for the consequences. It's okay, Hubert. You can trust him. So then, you would stand against me to protect this fool? Perhaps it is you who are the fool to risk your life. Still, reckless courage has its own kind of charm. I would like to see more of your idiocy. Depending on your actions, I might just have to show you my thanks. What is this voice? This isn't Asbel. Is this Lambda? See you tomorrow, Hubert. Um, yes. See you tomorrow. Okay. Lambda hat zu ihm gesprochen. Sehr merkwürdig. So, jetzt kommen wir in diese traditionellen vorletzte Kampfgespräche. Was wir ja irgendwie schon hatten im Main Arc, aber naja. Warum nicht zweimal? What are you doing, Pascal? Okay, so I was thinking how unfair it was that Asbel had to absorb the core. So I've got a new plan. Say hello to Mecha Asbel. Yeah. That's not Asbel. What? Ah, oh, come on. It looks totally like him. No, it doesn't. But what are you planning to do with that exactly? 
See, I was thinking we could just have Lambda zap himself into Mecha Asbel here before he absorbs all the Elith. How about it, Lambda? Impossible. He says no. Come on, <laughs> Lambda! This plan is awesome! Fine. I guess it really doesn't look like you after all. You think that's the problem? Well, Lambda's only helping because he likes you, yeah? I think it's more complicated. So if he doesn't like my robot, it must be because he doesn't look like you. Ah, uh, don't mind me. Um, yeah. Your people have always been arrogant. Too much knowledge will not save a civilization. It can bring only ruin. And yet, you persist in believing your knowledge can aid others. Hey! Stop saying things! Huh? I didn't say anything. Your technology is too primitive to stand a chance of containing me. And yet I am curious to see what your determination can accomplish. Give your all to the effort, child of Amarcia. Okay, okay. I'll stop trying to get you out of Asbel. I'm surprised you'd give up so easily. Oh, I'm not giving up. I just think it's time for me to sit back and see what Lambda's all about. Hmm. Maybe I can turn Mecha Asbel here into a weapon for tomorrow. Pascal, yeah. don't forget to take a bath. Yeah, yeah, I know. Good night. Hmm. Na gut. Dann gehen wir einfach mal nach oben. Oder wo auch immer wir müssen. Ich hoffe, da ist der Speicherpunkt. Still busy, I see. Yeah, just tinkering with stuff for tomorrow. What are you doing up, little bro? You all worried about your big brother? In a way. Ah, he's gonna be fine. I don't think Lambda's gonna try anything funny. But even so. I get ya. You never know what's gonna happen until it does, yeah? But gosh, little bro. You sure do worry about Asbel a lot. Stop calling me that. I'm a grown man. Why, even now I'm considering an offer of marriage. You're getting married, little bro? Aw, congratulations! Congrat- No, that's not- I'm not going to accept. What? Well, how come? Because I- Because- Yeah. Because my every waking thought is consumed by you. Um, yeah. I guess I kind of figured that. You, you did? I mean, well, that's not a bad thing, is it? a bit offensichtlich. Also ganz nebenbei. Don't you worry, little bro. I promise to take a bath before the ceremony. What? Hey, I totally understand. You don't want some smelly friend stinking up your fancy wedding. So I'll take a bath and use soap and everything. <laughs> okay, now let's see what you can do, Mecha Asbel. Okay. Wahrscheinlich ist sie doch ein bisschen durch den Wind. So, Speicherpunkt. Speicherpunkt, 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 Speicherpunkt. Mac von Malik, Speicherpunkt, Speicherpunkt. Jawohl. So, dann würde ich sagen, die restlichen Gespräche machen wir in der nächsten Folge von Let's Play Tales of Grace. Ich bedanke mich alle herzlich fürs Zuschauen und sage Tschüss.